Thank you for joining us on Coffee With. Our guest today is Crystal Mulder. And the cute gal sitting next to me is not just a pretty face. I know her as my hip hop instructor, yes. but um, you also have another job here in Vicksburg, don't you? Yes, I do. I am a legal secretary at Teller Law Firm, just right up the street, and um, it's over by the courthouse, and I've been there for 10 years. So. Wow, that's a long-term position. So it was okay when I said, can I borrow you for a half hour? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it was Good definitely deal. okay. Good deal. Good yeah. deal. Now, how did you end up going into being a legal secretary? Um, well, when I got out of school, I graduated valedictorian. But I did not want to go to college. I was so tired of school, so I, um, I went to, um, I moved to Jackson, and uh, one of my cousins worked for a law office there, and I started as a file clerk wow. and worked my way up. Um, I was there for a couple of years and then worked my way up to being a legal secretary. So, That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is awesome. So and it gives it. you flexibility because yeah. you have at least three classes I know at Wyatt. Yes. So you're out and about doing things mm -hmm. and, and you do a lot of running on your own. I do. Running, um, biking, um, and I have a little boy so we like he like he likes skateboarding and uh -huh. we love rollerblading and all keeping kinds active. Of stuff. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Very much. That is great. Now you teach Monday morning, Monday night, and Wednesday night, correct? Um, Monday morning, Thursday morning. Thursday morning. And, and Monday, Monday night. night. Okay. Yes. All right. And how did you get into to doing hip-hop dance? Um, well, when I was a kid, uh, I went to a private school my whole life. Um, and the private school I went to had an elementary. It was like a little pep squad. And okay. you did cheers and dances. And then when I got to junior high, I went into, um, I was a cheerleader. And then when I got into high school, I did cheerleading and dance team. We had dance team. And that was so much fun because back then it was like dances to Baby Got Back. And, right, right. You know, all, all those, those good old, songs. The, <laughs> yeah, the fun songs. And mm -hmm. um, so I did that. And then when I, I got out of school and for years I didn't do any dancing. And that's my favorite. I love to dance. I just, any kind of music. I love music. Mm -hmm. um, and... I've always wanted to have my own little studio or be able to teach dancing, and it never happened. And then when I started going to Wyatt's, um, I was just going and working out, you know, mm -hmm. all the time. And just so happened, I mentioned to them when Zumba came out. I right. mentioned, you know, I would go and get a license or get certified to do that if mm -hmm. they would let me. And um, about that time, they had hired um, Alyssa, the other right. girl, Ms. to do Dixon, Zumba. Right. And I mentioned to them, I was like, well, I would like to do hip hop if y'all would let me do hip hop. And so they did. And um, I love it. It's a lot like Zumba, just different music, mm -hmm. not, you know, not so much of the Latin salsa. Right. It's more of the upbeat new stuff, you know, that's mm -hmm. out now. And even some old dances like Push It and right, right. Do You do Love Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yep, some of the old school. I love old school dance. I remember when I was in school, we used to do the Roger Rabbit and the Running Man and the MC Hammer uh -huh. and all those old dances. So <laughs> I might mean, have to incorporate those in there. Yeah, get, get some more of those. In yeah. There. Now, I also saw. Um, on your Facebook page, because you were kind enough to friend me on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, so that we could kind of work on getting that hip hop going. And I thought you're thinking about doing a kids hip hop. Yes, they asked me. Um, I had a, a lady at the gym the other day. I walked in and she saw me, and she has some kind of little kid program in the summer that she okay. that she does. And she said, I know you're the hip hop teacher, and she said I would love if there was some time that you could teach my girls and anybody else who might you know want to come um to the gym and teach a kids hip-hop you know and um so i i told them that would you know be fine now when when and and you know we hadn't worked all that out yet right, but right. um i think they're trying to figure out a good time maybe around lunch time during a couple of uh -huh. days of the week or that would be so super in I fact know. one of the um gals that i know here in town i had mentioned the hip-hop class and she said oh my son would like that. Do you yeah. think I could bring him? And I said, well, right now it's on the woman's side of the gym, and I don't know if they'd let him yeah. in. But I think well, that would be an awesome Well, I think they are talking idea. about doing the kids' class maybe in the co-ed. Right. Um, the big room where mm -hmm. they do, like, spinning classes and stuff. Right. So um, that would be for anybody, any girls right. and boys. And um, so it would be lots of fun. I mean, I've always, I've always liked dancing. I love the dancing shows. I've always mm -hmm. wanted to be 
in a dance crew. I think that would be so cool, but I'm a little too old for that now. But Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, you know, I, I'm a lot older than you, and I like to think that I have all kinds of new experiences I still ahead of me. <laughs> I do, too. I don't act my age, so I just, you know, age is just a number to me, it so it's how, how you feel that counts. So I, just I, do. I do believe I'm the oldest woman in your hip-hop class. You're not. <laughs> you're, you're not. I promise some of my other classes that you don't get to come to, um, I had an 80-year-old woman in there one day. An awesome. 80 year old lady, and she loved it. So, I mean, it's for everybody. Anybody, it really is. And you don't have to be a good dancer. I mean, just come and have fun. You're working out, and nobody's looking at you. Because I have not. no rhythm whatsoever, <laughs> as you know. But, you know, uh, yeah. I, I do. I, I try very hard not to miss it, and I, I really, really yeah, love it. Yeah, it's a, it's a good workout, and it's, it's, it beats the old everyday elliptical, running on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. Some people just don't, if that's what they're going to do for workout, they just don't want to do it. They're like, right. you know, I want something fun, you know. Absolutely. And there's not places really that do a lot of dance classes mm -hmm. other than Zumba. Zumba. And um, and everybody don't care for that. So you, you can kind of choose what you like. So if you like Zumba, we have Zumba. If you like hip hop, we like we have it, hip hop. It just increases the options, and I love that. It does. And, you know, so even if you, if you feel that your your days of being able to work with Jabberwocky are, are oh past, my gosh, you know, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a fantastic crew. I, that was the first time I had seen them on, on the Bachelor. On the Bachelor, and, uh, they yes. are fantastic. They are awesome. I can, I can see why you would like yes. to, to dance with them. <laughs> Now, what about um, going back to if you can't dance with Jabberwocky, what about doing your own dance studio? I have, I would love to do that. I've always wanted to have my own dance studio, um, and it's just you know, it's finding a money. it's time and money and trying to find you know the right place and mm -hmm. the building and and Vicksburg is a great town. They have a lot of you know buildings and stuff around here nice. that. It's just, you know, having time and money and being able to fix it up. And I should put you in touch with, and remind me if mm -hmm. I forget, mm -hmm. one of my best friends up in the Chicago area started a school. It's called Trilogy Dance. Yeah. But they do dance. They do all the competitions mm -hmm. for, you know, palm and cheer. They also yeah. do, they have a room for, I believe it's theater, mm -hmm. and then for a voice. Oh, so yeah. So it's a combination, the Trilogy. Oh. And um, she started that with no dance background, mm -hmm. and she's younger than I am. And oh, and I hope you don't watch this. I'm going to say she's in her late 40s when she started that business. Yeah. And um, I'll get you her name and number. And, and if you decide it's something you'd like to at least, you know, look into a little bit more in depth, I know that um, yeah. she would be happy to speak with you. So other than that, what else do you like to do? Well, in the summertime, my favorite thing is just. <laughs> Laying out by the pool. Yeah, I love like the beach. Tan on. <laughs> the beach. I think if I lived near the beach, I would never get any work done. I'm just like a beach bomb. I love the sun. Um, being out in the sun, playing anything, sports activities, um, anything. Well, I just your don't son like being is in. Very lucky to have oh, an yeah. athletic mom. Yeah, That's he good. he is too. He likes. He's into everything: football, baseball, soccer. So we're we're very active. <laughs> go go go! Yes, go go go! <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. All right, now I have one last question, mm -hmm. and I want you to give me your serious, serious answer. Okay. Weren't you just a little disappointed that Ashley didn't catch on to Bentley earlier in the show? I was so, yes. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> I'm so mad about that. See, now I just gave up that I do watch The Bachelor on Monday night. And I, and, and I was... Um, and I really liked him. I mean, he's cute, and you would think he, the way he talks, he's very, he's very deceptive. You know, he, he, he's good at what he does. But um, what we're seeing is everything she's not able to see yet. Right. But when she, I, I kept telling my friend, and when she goes back and sees that tape, oh, she's gonna be oh. so mad. So <laughs> mad. If I could just get my hands on him. But uh, yeah, yeah I, I was really upset because I knew she was gonna get hurt in the end. Mm -hmm. And he was just playing it for what it was worth, you know. Right. So. And for myself, I, I was divorced and dating for, for over 10 years. And mm -hmm. there are an awful lot of players out there. And it takes an awful lot to see him. But boy, I, just, I wanted to just scream at her. I know, I know. And that's what's so crazy. I was telling my friend, um, it's just the bad boy complex. You know, everybody goes, it's the bad boy thing, isn't it? And, and they are so good at it that they can be very deceiving. Like, you don't know... Well, they, they learn to know what we want to hear, mm -hmm. 
And yeah. he even came right out and said, you know, it's hard to hold a woman when she's crying, but that's what they want. Yeah. Yes. And yes. I was like, oh, I yes. I, I think I've watched every season of The Bachelor and Bachelorette. And <laughs> Every time I get so mad because they don't ever pick the one that I, right. you know, want to pick. <laughs> so. Well, see, now I know not to text you during those two hours. Now, do you get yeah. together with girlfriends to do that? Yes, we do. Uh -huh. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, the first, uh, not the first couple of seasons, but the middle seasons, it would be like seven or eight of us all together oh. piled up on the couch. And, <laughs> and it's kind of dwindled a little bit during the right now because people's got so much going right. on. But, um, yeah, we try to. We try and have snack foods and all kinds of good stuff, so. Well, see, I'm thinking now, after you watch The Bachelor with your friends, you have your snacks, maybe have a cocktail or two, <laughs> then I think you should go over and do some karaoke, because you also like to sing, yes, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> but what's so crazy is I've never been, I've always been the shy, quiet, or not anymore, used to be, <laughs> used to be, um, never have, like, been in front of people talking, like, being up on stage, not and this is scaring me to death too. But, <laughs> um, and I don't know how in the world I got into the dance thing because I wanted to do it all that time, but I was so scared to get up in front of people. And uh, the first couple of classes, I was so nervous, but nobody, they said, we couldn't even tell. And I'm like, but now it's not, it's not, it, I think once you get over that little bit of fear, but now singing, I do not do in front of anybody <laughs> ever, usually. Um, have you so, ever done karaoke? No. Neither never. have I. It terrifies me. I have a bunch of friends that do it, and they love it. And I'm thinking, the only time I sing is at my house or in my car. And I uh -huh. jam in my car. So. <laughs> oh, I hear you singing during hip-hop. <laughs> I, I do that, too. I do it without knowing it. Right, so. right. But, uh, yeah, I do. Um, when I know that I'm not the only one singing and nobody's just listening to me, I could do it. But if somebody's just standing there watching me and listening to me, I, I probably couldn't do karaoke. Right. I wouldn't be good at that. <laughs> I'd probably forget what I was doing and so mess up. So. Well, I think maybe that's why, you know, you've got the words up there. And if you're just looking at that and you kind of forget that there's other people. My daughter mm -hmm. surprised me. She said she's done it. And I was like, really? I was like, she goes, come on, Mom. I'm like, yeah, no. I know. <laughs> Not I just so can't much. Do it. And my, my son, he he likes to sing. Yeah. He loves um, loves dancing. He got his dancing moves from me. There you go. And um, his favorite is Michael Jackson. He can do Michael Jackson. Can he do? Oh. oh, my goodness, girl. He's so good. Moonwalk and all. Oh. And uh, he likes to sing and dance, but he also plays instruments he i mean i don't play any instruments but he he can play guitar bass drums everything i mean he's just so wow. talented but he loves us we have we have sing-offs in the car so <laughs> <laughs> that's about the only time we do it if, uh together so oh uh, that's cute yeah we do it's so much fun well good before you go i would just like to say i so enjoy your hip hop class, and you know that because yes. I was so disappointed when they they thought that they were going to not have it. So mm -hmm. I I thank you for for having that class, for yes. sharing your energy with us because it really is contagious, Crystal. You you're great. Thank we, you. We love it. And um, one more time before mm -hmm. we go, remind us when you have classes. Um, Monday and Thursday mornings at nine. Okay. And Mondays at five thirty. And they last about an hour, and yep. you don't need any dance experience to come. No, you don't need any, because I'll teach it all to you. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You have a great day. Promotional consideration provided by Amber Sanders from Happy Hair. Get your hair happy at 3402 Wisconsin Avenue.